What does climate justice have to do with redlining and what does that mean for people today? We're Divisible, a documentary film about redlining and we can explain in two minutes or less. Although redlining was made illegal in 1968, it still impacts countless people today. Redlining forced non-white residents to live in specific parts of town that were seen as less desirable. Meanwhile, local zoning officials worked with businesses to place polluting operations like industrial plants, major roadways, and shipping ports in and around these redlined neighborhoods. These neighborhoods have also faced decades of disinvestment, resulting in less green space and tree coverage and more services that absorb heat than areas that have received more investment over time. A study from MDPI on 108 U.S. cities showed that formerly redlined areas are as much as 12.6 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than their non-redlined neighbors. Plus, research from the journal Environmental Science and Technology Letters also found that compared with white people, Black and Latino Americans live with more smog and fine particle matter from cars, trucks, buses, coal plants, and other nearby industrial sources in areas that were redlined. Those pollutants have incredibly harmful impacts. They can inflame human airways, reduce lung function, trigger asthma attacks, can damage the heart, and cause strokes. As we've discussed in previous videos, redlining also had a major impact on health outcomes. For example, black communities have less access to health care than white communities. From increased exposure to pollutants to lack of access to health care, redlining leaves an incredibly harmful impact on communities of color. Follow us to learn more about these issues and keep an eye out for ways you can watch our film, Divisible.